Newcastle, with their insane amount of funds, must spend strategically to save their season from relegation. So here are five transfer moves they should make this January, including buying and selling players. The first transfer move they should make is James Tarkowski. Tarkowski is a 29-year-old English center back from Burnley. Newcastle desperately needs center backs that can defend because they give up way too many goals. If they can fix their defense, they could save their team from relegation. He is calm in possession of the ball and does not make too many mistakes, and he is a solid defender. Proven by his 4 tackles plus interceptions, being dribbled past point three three times per 90, winning 69.2% of his ground duels, and winning 4.5 aerial duels per 90. He would make this team much harder to break down as he would win ground and air duels at an amazing rate. Newcastle United have a serious chance to get Tarkowski due to his contract running out in June of 2022. With their insane amount of money, they could convince him with a high cash contract, and this would be an excellent move to make. The second transfer move they should do is to sell Kieran Clark. Last match, he made a huge mistake in getting an early red card against Norwich, which led to them drawing in a very crucial match they probably should have won. He has made way too many mistakes to be playing consistently at a Premier League level, and I think it's time for Newcastle to move on from him. I think a team in the Championship or in the Scottish Premier League may want his services, including Celtic, Aberdeen, Sheffield United, or Swansea City. They could get around 2 to 5 million pounds for him, and he is definitely needing to go if they bring in other center backs. Third transfer move is to buy Jason Denier. Denier is a 26-year-old Belgian center back from Lyon. Once again, Newcastle desperately need defensive help, and bringing in two center backs will ensure defensive stability for their side. Denier is solid in common possession, and is very good on the defensive side of the game. He rarely turns over the ball, with only 0.46 of his passes being intercepted, and only 0.12 of his passes being blocked per 90. He's also insanely good at ground duels, as he is only being dribbled past 0.12 times per 90, winning 83.3% of his ground duels. He's not the greatest aerial defender due to his size, but with Tarkowski next to him, he will not have to be a dominant aerial presence. He will also not cost too much as his contract like Tarkowski expires in June of 2022, and Newcastle have the money to incentivize him to come to a relegation threatened Premier League side. The fourth transfer move they should make is to sell Emil Kraft. Kraft has not been nearly as disastrous this season in matches as Kieran Clark, but he is still not exactly quality enough for the Premier League. Kraft does bring good versatility as he can play center back in a back three and right back in a back four but I think they should look to sell him to bring in someone younger and more talented. I think a team like Malmo, Mould, or even Aberdeen could really use him. I think they could get around 3 to 5 million pounds for his services. The fifth move would be to bring in Yusuf Atal. Yusuf Atal is a 25-year-old Algerian right back from Nice. He is a very good attacking fullback with solid defensive qualities. He has shown his attacking talent this league a uh, season with his 1.27 key passes, 1.65 passes into the penalty area, 2.55 shot creating actions, 9.93 progressive carries, and 3.18 carries into the final third per 90. He has also shown solid defensive ability with his 5.6 tackles plus interceptions and 4.58 successful pressures per 90. He would fit a Eddie Howe system as he wants his fullbacks to have attacking talent which they are currently lacking, and have pressing ability and solid defensive talent. Atal fits all three of these and he would not cost too much with his market value only being £13.5 million. He would be an excellent addition for Howe and Newcastle to make.